see if we can turn this thing around for for the Portland Trailblazers. I am not too confident. I'm gonna try to make this as realistic as possible. You know, obviously 2K is gonna be 2K, and I'll try to do my best to make it entertaining as well. But we're gonna see what we can really do with this roster. So make sure you guys like the video. If you do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do here. So, like I said, this is the start today mode. So the record should be up to date as of a couple days ago for you guys. I'm not entirely sure when this video is going to go up, but we have the Blazers here pretty far down here in the Western Conference. Of course, they could still make the playoffs. They could be in the lottery. We're kind of just going to simulate the rest of this season, which is the current NBA season that we're in right now, and just see where we fall. Um, if we tank, cool. If we make the playoffs, cool. I don't really care, but we're going to have to figure it out. And we do. Um... According to 2K, we have Nicole Jokic, obviously a pretty good candidate, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back MVP, Paolo Bancaro, Benedict Matherin winning sixth man of the year, I don't know if he's actually up for that award, if he is, that's pretty cool, got Joel Embiid, defensive player of the year, never really thought of him as a candidate, but that's really dope, oh, okay, Trey Jones, most improved, <laughs> um, all NBA first team, nothing too crazy there, we have Trey Young there, which is kind of wild, John Morant making all NBA second team, Curry and Dame, okay, all NBA third team, I'll take it, playoff race and we uh, we missed it we are not even in the plan nor the playoffs um we had a very bad end to the season and uh probably is also how the portland trailblazers are going to be in real life but that's uh trying to make this a real rebuild so maybe this will be up to date we are going to be simulating through the playoffs kind of fast here uh, the lakers don't make the playoffs either um, we have the Hawks making it in, and the Raptors, and the East Wolves, and Dallas. Wow, so no Golden State Warriors either. That's kind of rough. That's uh, pretty interesting. Oh my god, and also very interesting there. <laughs> we have the, the number one seeded Denver Nuggets going down. We also have the two seeded, two, two, two seeded Memphis Grizzlies going down. Wow, a lot of upsets. Wow. We also have the Hawks beating bucks in the first round crazy um that is wild anyways <laughs> um let's see in the second round wow so the eight seated timberwolves make it all the way to the conference finals they even sweep the kd booker sons oh my god going to the finals are going to be the mavericks and the sixers okay that's not too crazy we had a good eastern conference finals for the east over there and the 76ers are the, I guess, 2K simulated NBA champions. Do you, think, do you think the Sixers are going to win the title this year? I have no idea. But, uh, anyways, doesn't matter. We're trying to rebuild Portland. And I think right now, uh, we're going to have to go through the path of the draft. Because that is actually how bad we did. I think we got the 6th best odds, seven best odds, something uh, around there. So, with uh, Golden State missing the playoffs... They're in the lottery as well. We have the Nets up next. Interesting. They tanked pretty hard as well at the end of the season. The all oh, this that's the Chicago Bulls pick actually, but it goes to the uh, Orlando Magic. And then we have the Washington Wizards. As long as we don't jump down uh, too far, we should be okay. My uh, ideal goal is obviously get number one, get Victor Wembanyama, or okay. Or whoever that was just jumped to top four. That's definitely not a good. Um, at least that's the goal. If not, then maybe just trade the pick. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we 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 did in fact jump to top four. Um, Charlotte also jumps to top four. Wow, there's a lot of teams that jumped. I feel really bad for like yeah, the Houston Rockets. Are they right there? Oh no, the Houston Rockets are still on top four. Oh jeez. If this is us, okay. I'll, get, I'll tell you guys my game plan in a second. Okay. Houston. Please not us. Victor Wibignano would be actually insane. Oh my god, please. No. No, no, no. Please, number one, 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 one. Ah. Wow, the Pelicans actually get Victor Wibignano. That's terrifying. Um. Anyways, uh, my goal... I think is in fact going to be trading this pick. Um, of course, Scoot, Scoot, Scoot Anderson is a pretty good prospect, and I know a lot of teams would want to get him as a guard for the future, but we, of course, already have Ant and Dame, so we don't really need a guard. Um, so I'm going to, I guess, look around and see what we can get for this number two overall pick. First one is actually DeMar DeRozan, which is actually pretty good and kind of makes sense as well for the Bulls to re rebuild there. Um, Dante Murray, not 
necessarily the next guy we want on the team. This would be really good actually for the depth of Portland. Obviously, Yusuf Nurkic not really having the greatest year this year. Having Walker, Kessler take his spot would be pretty impressive. Um, Nick Claxton, Nicholas, Nicholas Claxton, also not bad. Pennington Mather and my Arizona dude would also be kind of nice, but no. Jalen Durant, no. Nothing too crazy. Kelton Johnson, that's interesting. He's definitely a pretty good player. That could definitely be a good forward for Portland, but a 6'5 forward. If you know anything about Portland, we've had enough sort of like undersized ish um, forwards. And not really the next over Dame. I mean, Damar is there, but like, I, I wonder if there's something else out there. And, uh, obviously Joel and B is kind of out of the question because they just want a title. There's Damar. Um, I mean, Jalen Brown would be nice, but I think he's probably going to stay put in Boston. Kawhi or even Paul George, but I think they're probably going to, in, in, in real, in real, 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 real life, they're probably going to try to run it back there in LA. Probably not probably too early for a rebuild. I mean, there's a Jimmy Butler. I think the Heat just were a first round outing, so, you know, if the Heat want to have, like, a nice little new guard in Scoot Anderson next to Tyler Hero, that could be a pretty crazy backcourt, for sure. LeBron, maybe, well, I mean, we could train him for Anthony Davis, but I doubt that LeBron would love that. Mikhail Bridges would be kind of nice, but no offense to Mikhail. I feel like the number two pick would be a little bit of a oversell. If I had just traded the number two pick for Mikhail Bridges, no offense to Mikhail. But again, not really the co-star I'm really looking for. Mm. Siakam is also a very, very interesting option, obviously, with Toronto. Uh, missing the playoffs probably, probably could get him um, in like a realistic way. But uh, I do also have Jeremy Grant, and I don't know if Siakam and Grant can really play next to each other. Carl Anthony Downs, but I'm looking for more of like a defensive-minded big man, because Portland definitely needs defense. Speaking of defense, <laughs> I'm deciding to go with Jimmy Butler, and I know maybe some Miami fans are like, oh my god, this is uh, so unrealistic. And then some Portland fans are like, wow, you're overselling to get Jimmy Butler to the number two pick and Avery Simons. Uh, yes, I think this is probably as realistic as it's gonna get for both sides. I think it's pretty evenly uh, a pro or a con for both sides, and I think it makes sense for both sides. It doesn't make sense for both sides. So I think it makes sense <laughs> because it's so evenly balanced, at least in my own opinion. Um, rebuild for Miami. Jimmy goes to Dame. Also gonna look to try to upgrade and or just replace Yusuf Nurkic. No offense to Yusuf Nurkic. Did not have the greatest season last year. Pretty injury ridden and just also just not that not the Nurkic we're all that used to. So let's see what so we have Subak. Subak would be not bad, but again if I'm throwing in a first round pick, I kinda wanna get something back. That could be pretty nice. Here. Okay, Walker Kessler. If this was like a regular rebuild, then I'd probably take that one. Mitchell Robinson. Um, I mean the Knicks were good last year, so I doubt they're gonna try to do anything different now that. That's interesting. Brooklyn Nets, a tanking rebuilding team, getting a first round pick. Nicholas Claxon on a uh, expiring contract, so they're gonna have to pay him and or let him walk in free agency. They probably don't want to do that. They probably want to get something back for him. Getting a center they can have on, a, on the books for a couple years, help them tank, no offense, and then also get a first round pick. Not bad. Okay. Johnny Davis. <laughs> Jeez. Feel sorry for him. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go here. Um, you know, Nets first round pick, use Nurkic on the books for a couple years, help the tank, and then Blazers get a defensive minded, athletic, big. But guess what? We could have had that in the draft. Because Victor Wimpignana did not go number one. Lesson here, kids. Uh, always look things through. Never count yourself out because apparently we could have had Victor Wimpignana if we wanted to. Anyways, we're going to try to ignore that. We're on to free agency. Uh, obviously, Portland has a lot of cap space sort of mixed up with all their players, especially with the newly acquired Jimmy Butler. We don't really have anything. All we can really do is resign people, which we're going to do. We're going to try to get Grant back, maybe Cam, maybe Thibault, and maybe we can find anything else. And we do end up doing that. Um, could not find a upgrade at the two guard position with the absence of Anthony Simon, so I'm just going to start in a shade and sharp, see what happens. Uh, but we also obviously, of course, have Jimmy Butler there, Jimmy Grant, we re-signed, which is great, Nicholas Claxton, uh, 
season of Jed Holmgren. Looking pretty good as well. We have the Pelicans without Wembenyana. The Grizzlies um, struggling. Interesting. I wonder why. Um, we also have the Clippers sucking, which they always do in 2K, and the Victor Wembenyana Lamella Ball duo not really doing anything too different over there in Charlotte. But um, the Eastern Conference are looking pretty interesting. We have the Hawks in number one. Actually, the East is dominating the uh, the standings right now. The East are looking like the uh, the powerhouse so far. Um, nothing too crazy. Oh my god, and I spoke too soon. There is something crazy. How the heck did Rudy Gobert... Oh, they traded Tobias Harris for Rudy Gobert. Wow. Um, Avery Simons, um, Jimmy Butler switch looked like it worked pretty well for both teams. We have a good little rebuild over there. Miami for sure, for sure. That backcourt's looking pretty feisty. And they got a uh, Miller in the draft, which is a pretty good pickup. For the, our little stats, we have Dame doing Dame stuff. Jimmy doing Jimmy stuff. Look at that duo. That's a, that's a very great duo. Either in Portland or even in Miami, that'd be a nice duo. Got Shane Sharp carrying his weight, right, his weight, weight, weight right now. Taking over the role of Anthony Simons and doing it in a pretty good and efficient way. Jimmy Grant, I'm very happy that we got him back. Um, Claxton, though, is, is not looking like he's very happy being here. Um, don't know if the fit is really there, but, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have to go with it. We now have the, uh, Luka Doncic MVP season, which is kind of usual in 2K. We got Cole Anthony, Giannis, Defense Player of the Year, makes a lot of sense. And your boy, Shaden Sharp, actually wins Most Improved Player, which is pretty sick. We also have Dame on All-NBA, what is that, first team, which is pretty fire. And then Jimmy Butler makes it on to the All-NBA third team. So I will 1,000% take that, uh, very much so. So, um, Portland only did get the four seed, though. Uh, again, the race for one to four was only like a couple games, like two, three games. So, uh, it was a tight race, but I'm very happy to get home court and at least be in the playoffs this year. Um, we're still trying to figure out like the best way to play this team and sort of the, the right parts to put around Dame and uh, Jimmy Butler. But I think we did a pretty good job this year going up against the Kings the first round. And then you have the Mavericks up there that we're probably going to be facing next. Hawks, oh, the Pistons made the playoffs and did the Bucks. Yeah, the Bucks made it. Okay, Lakers made it against the Warriors. That's pretty fire of a first round. We have the Kings, though. Um, very fiery young bunch there. We have some good vets in our team, though, so hopefully we can sort of figure this out. Or maybe not. We're already down. 2-1. to 2-2. Okay, I'll take it. Let's see. 3-2. to two. And, okay. Second round. Honestly, already a success in my book. Wow, okay, wow, Demontis Sabonis had a really bad game. Um, yeah, honestly, in, in a new team with a new component and parts of Jimmy Butler and X and Y players, second round is not bad. We are going up against the number one seed, though, now, which I'm kind of worried about. And then you also have Phoenix down there with KD. Oh, boy. Uh, the East, nothing too crazy. I mean, obviously, the, the, the Knicks beating the Sixers, I guess, now is nothing too crazy to think about, but... Um, we have the Dallas Mavericks up. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we take game one. I mean, I guess Jimmy Butler can guard Luka. I'm just really worried about Kyrie, but we're already up 2-0. Oh, wow, 3-0. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take a sweep. I mean, Jeremy Grant is, is bawling out of his mind right now. Definitely looking like a, a really good third option. Dame is doing his Dame stuff. Jimmy doing his Jimmy stuff. I mean, this team, I mean, I don't want to, you know, I'll knock on wood, but I don't think, I don't think we're going to win it this year. Right to no shot. I mean, we're probably going to lose against Phoenix here, though. Uh, wow, the Hawks are actually in the conference finals. Again, like they got their stuff together going up against the, uh, the powerhouse of the Boston Celtics. Um, you know what? I mean, this team is pretty deep. Actually, no, it's really not. Oh, wait, we might actually have a chance. I mean, they're starting Andre Iguodala. That's how bad the depth of this roster is. We take game one. Wow, wait, I'm actually kind of... I'm actually kind of okay. Two nothing. <laughs> can we... Can we... No way we double sweep. That'd be pretty crazy. Let's see. Simulate three. Wow. Okay. Okay, Portland. Three to one. There's no way we lose all the way through, right? Right. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, <laughs> this 
is uh, just to show you guys, it's, you know, the normal, the normal stuff. Um, this new Portland Trailblazers team is in fact in the NBA Finals with Jimmy Butler winning the Western Conference Finals MVP award against the Hawks, which I, again, no offense to any Hawks fans out there, I'm pretty confident in our, uh, in our ability here. Taking game one, let's go. I might have to end the video early. One to one. Oh, two to one. Uh oh. Two to two. Come on, Portland. Do not. Do not embarrass me. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Yeah. Okay. It is a game seven NBA Finals. Dame Jimmy Butler against Trey Young. Surely this should. Wow, this is really close. You know, we really don't have a lot of perimeter defense to go up against Trey Young. I mean, is Dame gonna guard Trey Young? Probably not. I don't really want to put Jimmy on him either. Oh god, this is this is way, 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 way too close, to guys. Oh no, that is uh, not looking too good, and it's not okay. I was gonna jump in if it was close, and we kind of already lost by the time I simulated to it. Shout out to the Hawks. That's really cool. Trey Young didn't even do all that crazy, but you know, I think what we gotta do is add a little bit more guard depth. Maybe it's Dame. Maybe get someone behind Dame at the backup point guard position. I don't know. We're just gonna try it and see what we can do. And uh, LeBron also very sadly retires. This video is going downhill by the second. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Okay, well, um, Speaking of a guard, I maybe can add some, you know, defensive depth there is uh, Jose Alvarado, which isn't the craziest defender, but at least is a, you know, a, a pest, a, a scrappy guy. Um, I think I'm just going to give him like a first round pick for him and just some youth uh, to get him. Um, again, he's not going to be the guy who's going to be scoring a bunch of points, but he has the potential to shoot and he can defend. Um, not bad for adding to our depth. And to be honest, that's all I really did. Um, Dame and Jimmy Butler did, in fact, decline a little bit, but Shaden Sharp did go up pretty far. Again, he was uh, kind of our, he, well, he was the most improved player last year, going up to 20 points, so he can sort of exceed that a little bit more this year. Claxton didn't do that well for us, but, you know, Nazir Little, Cam Reddish did play pretty well for us um, coming off the bench, so, you know, crossing our fingers were a little bit more well-rounded, and I think... Uh, you know, I, I mean, I even got Caruso as a as a tenth man. So, yeah. Uh, again, trying to make this realistic is really hard to do. So, again, this team is not going to be super stacked. So, I'm just trying my best. But also, this game not also 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 being realistic helps out a lot. As you can see, the Spurs are the number one seed. We have us at the two, Mavs at the three. They have Draymond, which is interesting. Christian Wood coming off the bench still. Not too shabby. Um, Golden State Warriors are back in the race, which is nice to see. Uh, we have the LeBron. Le <laughs> we have the LeBronless Lakers, but they replace him with Kawhi. Oh my God, that's interesting. And they also have Tobias Harris. That's wow. Clippers are the worst team in the West. Cleveland number one seed with our rival Hawks right there. Wow, Wembenyama is. Okay, guys, I could have gotten Wemby, man. I guess that would have, have made this rebuild too realistic if I actually got Wembenyana with the third pick or the second pick. That just I mean, any team who gets Wembenyana is going. He's going number one. Um, and then Zach Levine randomly is a buck. So interesting. <laughs> Looking at the uh, at the stats for our team again: Dame decline, Jimmy decline, but Shaden uh, Shaden Sharp is on the incline at a 87 overall now. He is absolutely killing the game for us, really helping putting us maybe in a better position, just getting better and better and better. Even Nas is getting better. Uh, Cam Reddish is getting a lot better. Claxon is still being Claxon. And then we have a, a little pesty guard in Jose Alvarado. I, I'm, I'm liking this team. Is it better than last year's though? We'll have to see. But Trey Young actually wins MVP. Isaiah Cooler, Coulier, whatever. He wins every kid here. Uh, be honest, defensive player of the year in uh, Amen. Amen Thompson, I think is how you pronounce the name. Uh, most improved because that uh, Spurs team is, did improve by a lot. Um, Dame gets all NBA third team. Uh, that's, that's really great. Adding to his accolades.
favorites, and we are, yes, the number one seed in the West. I think we, I think we might have cracked the code. I think we might have cracked, cracked, cracked the code. Let's see who we go up against. Over in the West, we have the, oh my god, what? The Denver Nuggets were in the play-in. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. We uh, could have had the Rockets. That would have been a lot easier, but... Denver in the first round is wild. Then we have Miami over there with the East and the bases as well. Let's see what we can do, though. Taking game one. Taking game two. Taking game three. And sweep, sweep, sweeping the Denver Nuggets. Not very realistic. I think that'd be like a worst-case scenario. <laughs> we also uh, are now going up against the Young Gun Thunder team, which, wow, that could be, again, in our favor for sure. Um... I'm not sure who this Thunder team has. Oh, wow. Yeah, Giddy and Shea are just crazy overalls. They have Wiseman as well. Oh, wow. This team is pretty stacked. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's see. Uh-oh. <laughs> Already down. A one. That's definitely not a good sign. They have the Spurs down there about to sweep their opponent. Two to one. Two to two. Oh, God. Stop it. Three to two. Come on. Uh, I think I did a pretty, a pretty realistic job.